The success of any speech does not only depend on a well-written speech, but also on effective speech delivery. And to make this possible, make sure you get your message across to the audience by using the best channel, and that is yourself. Oh, hello there, it's Tuesday. It's Oral Communication in Context. I am Tudor Alvin. And I am Tudor Nova. And we are your Tudor Tandem. For Italy Live. So oh. Alvin, Happy New Year! How have you yes. been? Yes, <laughs> Mam Nova. Happy New Year. So um, it's been um, three weeks, I think, or a month <laughs> since yeah, our since last we, meeting. Yeah. yeah, since our last tandem. So I am so glad to see you and to be with you for 2022, Sir Alvin, to more collaborations yeah, with you here in Itulai. And of course, Sir Alvin, we should not forget to mention our oral amazing students and our dear viewers who are with us in our live session today so they yeah, can feel free thank you to, very much um, Jay, for continuously right. supporting participating in our session since 2021 and up to this year okay our first okay um episode for this year 2022 so we're glad to hey. still be with you and we're still happy to serve you to let you know the amazing world of oral communication. Woohoo, that's right. So they can feel free to let us know um, they are joining us and what part of the world or what part of the Philippines they're yeah. currently from. So they can yes. put their names and what school they come from in our comment section. They can feel free to um, engage in our comment section, Sir Alvin. And we would love to acknowledge all of them for today. Yeah, that's right. So. Okay, so let's have or read first some comments here. Of course, from sure. your school, from CBS AA SHS. Okay, they're they're very active. Okay, or must be right. active because they're 2022. Okay, hashtag. Tama, okay, Sir goal for 2022. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, so hi, hi to Christian Jones Likigan from Yumes 11 Socrates. Hi to Kimberly, she is watching from Santa Maria National High School, SDO Pampanga. And yeah. at the same time, we also got here Christy Thuringman from uh, City of Bogos Science and Arts Academy Senior High School. Thank you for being with us today for our early uh students i, I suppose <laughs> hopefully yeah, we're we have able also to here them. um chantal garcia we have jesse james Turin, precious kamai okay from cbs cbs aa okay kyla may rodrigo yeah and so gia manansala race good afternoon po tutor nova and tutor alvin watching good from afternoon. santa maria <laughs> national high school makabebe pampanga hello to all of, to all our viewers and participants all righty okay. so so last time okay to the nova um we yeah, had what our mini version right so, <laughs> yeah we had our mini me so it was so cute to watch i was able to watch a replay because as yes. you have i think uh remembered our dear oral amazing students uh, Sir alvin and i wasn't able to make it last time because i think there was just a you know slight conflict of schedule so we are so glad that ma'am irene from that bed tv was yes. able to fill in <laughs> our schedule and also that time our, and our mini as well okay we have um mini me tutor allen and uh i i sincerely forgot her name that was tutor sam right yeah. mini me tutor sam she tutor is sam. a mini me tutor nova and tutor irene so, so they talked about so grammatical correctness as the last principle of crafting okay your speech so let's also award at this juncture our oral amazing student for week five yeah sino kaya yun before natin i-reveal sir alvin try not kaya natin mag scroll sa comment section if nandito ba siya let's yeah, see if nga, nag comment nga. ba si oral amazing student for week five yeah Kita mo ba, Sir Alvin? Hindi ko pa ito nakikita. <laughs> But reveal na natin. <laughs> yeah, sige. Reveal okay. na natin. And for quarter two, week five, ayan. Autista. Oh. Akala ko rockstar kanina to, ma'am. Kaninang ito. So, Go, little <laughs> rockstar. <laughs> yeah. So, she is, okay, Nyla Sef Garcia from City of Bogos Science and Arts Academy, SDO Bogos City. Okay, so all right, congratulations, our oral amazing student for a uh, quarter to week five. 
And I guess last time, Sir Alvin, yung quarter to week four natin na oral amazing student, we were not able to uh, give the prize just yet because I think that time medyo nagkabagyo rin, nawala yung signal. So we will be giving away the quarter two, week four, and week five oral amazing student their prizes right yeah. after this session today. Yeah, that's right. Just send, okay, send us a PM or a personal message or direct message. Ayan, so right. shout out lang natin si... Minimi Alan Mark De Jesus. So he is watching Hi, our Alan. episode Chitter right Alan. now. So hello, hello Alan, Chudor Alan for um doing the the task last time. So yeah, he nailed very it. Good job. We're so proud. Okay. Okay, All so right. again it's our first a recap since bagong taon. Baka nakalimutan na eh. <laughs> Tama, Baka, Sir so, Alvin, di ba? Baka nag-goodbye rin sa 2021. <laughs> for quarter two. So, for the week one, we talked about the types of communicative strategies and we're done with that. Next, Ma'am Nova? For uh, week number two, we were able to discuss about understanding speech context, speech style, speech act, and communicative strategy. Yeah. And beginning week three, we discussed or be, um, we began discussing the principles of effective speech writing. The first two are audience profile and logical organization. And the and other two were week discussed. Four, yeah? yeah, week four, Sir Alvin, was principles of effective speech writing, duration, and word choice. Yeah. And the last time, we talked about the fifth one. Okay. The fifth. Um, principle which is okay dapat tama din ang ating grammar and that's the mm. grammatical correctness and we're done with the principles of effective speech writing that's why it is expected na nasa inyo na ang mga draft ng mga tama. speech tama so, tama kaya nga pinapasubmit na natin yung mga draft nila sir alvin yeah, <laughs> sa kanya-kanyang so, schools natin ayun ayan, <laughs> so my students okay please submit okay the final draft of your speech na dapat ginamitan ng audience profile niyan logical organization na consider mm -hmm. ang duration Chinek ang I word think, choice. Yeah, I and think they were able to, to do that and process that Sir Alvin naman noong, I think, Christmas break. So hopefully yes, they were tama. able to uh, craft fully their written speech for uh, considering these different types of principles. Yeah, now exactly. today, Sir Alvin. Okay, we'll begin to, okay, to study the principles of effective speech delivery na tayo. Okay. Ooh, exciting topic to talk about. It's articulation and modulation. Yeah, the first two. So, for so this is quarter two. The um, quarter two, week six, overall communication in context. In today's episode, we will talk about the principles of effective speech delivery with focus on articulation and modulation. Right, Sir Alvin. And our target is for our student viewers to identify the principles of speech delivery. Secondly, analyze the importance of um, articulation and modulation as principles to consider in delivering a speech. All right, so you now know our targets, our oral amazing students, so buckle up and ready yourself for a new learning experience. Okay, and let's get the ball rolling. So, as a student, okay, our dear participants and student viewers, you surely have experience being the player leader in your class. Oo, naranasan ko to, Sir Alvin. Tawa, tawa. Siyempre, di ba? Lalo kung ikaw ang nasa unahan, ikaw na agad ang tatayo to, to Oo, lead the player. Automatically. Yeah, right. or you have been called by a teacher for recitation. Ay, ako, hindi nakakaligtas mm. sa akin. Ako. Kahit yung, ano ma'am, yung paligaw-ligaw tingin, di ba? Parang, <laughs> Yun ang mga At yung parang <laughs> patingin-tingin sa ceiling, di ba, Sir Alvin? Yung tila yeah. may uh, hinihintay na mahulog from the ceiling. Ayun, yung tinatawag right. natin. Or you may have even volunteered to read, okay, aloud a paragraph in one of your subjects. So if you will notice, all of those instances or all of these instances require you to deliver your words in front of an audience or in public. That is right, Sir Alvin. So it goes to show that delivering a speech and speaking in public is something that is not new to our student viewers. Yes. Today, we will focus on articulation and modulation as part of components that must be considered in delivering a speech. 
All right. So, we will be exploring the principles of effective speech delivery. Nakapag move on na tayo sa speech writing. So, writing, today it's yeah. speech delivery for 2022. Yeah, for 2022, sabi nga to Renova, yeah. speech delivery na tayo. Take note, speech delivery. Pag-aaralan na natin how are you going to deliver, okay? To to speak out your speech. Yung mga sinulat yung speech. All right? right. So, Let's have this um, study first. Okay, so a number of studies have revealed to Renova and to our student viewers oh, that five percent of the people in the world struggle with, okay, glossophobia or the fear of public speaking. Mm -hmm. For those uh -huh. people who have glossophobia, speaking in front of an audience can trigger feelings or of discomfort and anxiety. Right. Tama, uh, Sir Alvin, kasi yung nasa picture din. I think uh, siguro kung medyo uh, yung personality mo is medyo shy and mm -hmm. I think if given the task na mag-deliver ng speech uh, in front of a lot of people and especially if yung people na yon is baka hindi mo kakilala or something. So parang magkakaroon ka lang ng, speed, uh, ng stage fright, kumbaga. Kaya 75% pala ng mga people ay nagsastruggle talaga sa glossophobia. Yeah, and, and that there is are also some... very relatable, Sir Alvin, diba? So we all probably perhaps know someone who will pass the mic and will beg off na, Ma'am, please, hindi po muna ako. <laughs> hindi pa po kasi ako ready. So parang ganun, diba? Kapag may uh, mga students tayo sa recitation classes natin, Sir Alvin, when we call that student, and siguro medyo hindi siya prepared, even sa online classes, diba, Sir Alvin? Uh, although mm -hmm. hindi tayo nakikita personally, but um, I think when we call a student, and then parang sabi ng student, uh, ma'am, I'm not really ready to answer that question or something. Or maybe yung iba is nag-log out or something. Kasi hindi sila prepared. Or ayaw nilang magsabi ng na parang involved sa class. Or they don't want to deliver something. They don't want to say something. Stuff like that. Yeah, that's right, Ma'am Nova. The fear of public speaking is very common anywhere in the world. And even in a small classroom. And in our students, this fear is really noticeable. And there are a lot of factors bakit na experience natin ito okay even i think that the, the most um the most expert public uh, okay public speaker could somehow experience still um fear of public speaking because there are a lot of factors that can affect okay the delivery of your speech nasabi mo nga kanina to Nova, mm -hmm. maybe your audience no Naka, nakaka-intimidate right. ang audience mo or maybe it's nasa you then as a speaker baka hindi Intimidated ka naman ka <laughs> Oh yeah, uh -oh, or ikaw then you you did not prepare. That's why, um, if there's a problem, there's always a solution for this one, right? Right, Sir Alvin. So, Sir Alvin, now that you have mentioned and speaking of having the fear of public speaking, let us try to watch a video from one of our oral amazing students, Len, yeah. and let's find out some manifestations that indicate the fear of public speaking from this song interpretation from our oral amazing student Rowan. Okay, let us Let's watch, watch this. and <laughs> listen. I hate public speaking. Suddenly I'm someone I don't know. I just hate being looked at There must be something in my nose My hair is bad, my fly is open I'm wearing the wrong clothes I am hiding in the bathroom Cause my stomach's not quite right When I think of standing up to speak I'm paralyzed with fright I hate public speaking Suddenly I'm someone I don't know I feel quite catatonic My voice is monotone My mind is blank and I forget everything I've ever known I stutter and I stammer And to everyone it's plain That I'm the person up in front Who used to have a brain I hate public speaking Suddenly I'm someone I don't know 
I drank two pots of coffee cause I didn't sleep a wink And my mind is racing way too fast for me to even think My hands and knees are shaking Me hysterical? You bet! And I never knew one person could produce this kind of sweat I hate public speaking Suddenly I'm someone I don't know Something takes me over By terror I'm possessed I'm helpless in the face of it Though my logic does protest For this fear of presentations I'm desperate for a cure And no one has it half as bad as I do That's for sure I hate public speaking suddenly i'm someone i don't know <laughs> there yeah. you have it wow so, that video of our oral amazing student relen shows humorous description of the symptoms of fear of public speaking. So out of all the symptoms, I must say that having a monotone voice and having mental blocks are symptoms really that almost everyone has already encountered. Okay. How about our student viewers here? What right. are what do you think are the other symptoms? Okay. Of, we of wanna know fear we of wanna public know. speaking. Yeah. What yeah, are the manifestations who... okay of uh -uh. a person who has glossophobia? Yeah, let, let's try to make this class as engaging as possible. They can try yeah. to interact with us through our comment section down below. Yeah, aside okay, so from while the waiting, mentioned by um, yeah. Relen, okay? How about you, student viewers? What are the various manifestations or symptoms na takot ang isang tao na magsalita o meron siyang glossophobia na tinatawag? Yeah. yeah. Baka hindi na mention or baka gusto nila mm -hmm. i-share yung mga experiences nila in life na ayun may nag-comment na Sir Alvin she is Daniela Denise Manalili and she said yung mental blocks and stuttering tapos mm -hmm. according to Lyle Antoinette Flores um anxiety they have anxiety mm -hmm. as the symptoms and we also got here Nyla Seff she oh, said Nyla, is she here? yeah our week five oral amazing student yes. and also uh Sir Alvin we have Don Kelly yeah, ayun, sabi ni Don Kelly, confidence. lack of confidence. Ayun, mm -hmm. wow, a lot of them, uh, some of them also experience, according to Lyle Flores, uh, panic attacks and sweating, according to Lobo Germain. Mm -hmm. Ayun, uh, yeah. relatable talaga siya, especially the song. Mm -hmm. It's like a humorous yeah, we... way of expressing the symptoms of public speaking. Yeah. We all aspire to Renova to be confident speakers, right? However, the reality is usually less than perfect. Often our fears take over during the speech delivery. Right, Tutor Alvin. So remember, speech delivery pertains to the act of presenting a speech before an audience. And in speech delivery, our fears never go away entirely. So remember that our aura amazing students. So thus, it's about having less fear in order to deliver a good speech. Diba sometimes, Sir Alvin, uh, medyo nakakapag-panic din kapag hindi ka kinakabahan, diba? Parang feeling mo yes, confident oh. ka talaga. Tapos, yan na yung part, Sir Alvin, na kinakabahan ako kapag hindi ako kinakabahan. <laughs> Pero kapag I can feel na those adrenaline rush, Parang uh, I can feel na medyo ang exciting. Ang exciting talaga mag um, deliver ng speech kapag nakaka-feel ako ng yeah. ganun. Siguro uh, what our oral amazing students should remember as what we have mentioned earlier is that um, hindi talaga mawawala lahat. It will never go away entirely those fears. But it's up to you. How are you going to transform those fears into your strength? So yes. know, hopefully right. they were able to experience that. Yeah, and according to the author of The Art of Public Speaking, who is Stephen Lucas, in 2011, a good delivery means that you are capable of and able to present your message, remember this, in a clear, coherent, and interesting way. Ulitin lang natin, clear, coherent, 
and interesting way. So he also says that good delivery conveys the speaker's idea, yeah, conveys the speaker's ideas clearly, interestingly, and without distracting the audience. All right, that's a great um, sharing from Stephen Lucas. And yeah. most audiences, Sir Alvin, prefer delivery that combines a certain degree of formality with the best attributes of good conversation, such as directness, spontaneity, animation, vocal, and facial expressiveness, and a lively sense of communication. Yeah, and so in speech delivery, the speaker must put into practice different principles that will surely prepare him in facing the audience and delivering a great speech. Certainly, Sir Alvin. So we have the different principles of speech delivery, and they can be classified into two, the verbal elements and the physical elements. Now, our oral amazing students, under verbal elements, we have articulation and modulation. Yeah, under the physical elements of the speech delivery, we have stage presence, facial expression, gestures and movement, and audience rapport. Right, so for now, we shall focus on the verbal elements, which are the articulation and modulation. Let's study each principle one by one. Yeah, so dito tayo sa verbal element, the, the, the two verbal elements ng speech delivery. First is the articulation. So what is articulation and how, why is it very important to consider in um, delivering your speech? So let's have this. So articulation, ayan, picture pa lang, kitang-kita na, bibig, <laughs> di ba? <laughs> so it refers to the quality of delivery that makes the speech understandable to the audience. This refers to the clear pronunciation or diction and makes speech, which is very essential in effectively transmitting the message. Right, Sir Alvin, now articulation is a skill that focuses on the element of clarity, which means to say that what you are saying is clear of the spoken words and phrases of the speaker. Now, how well and precisely you form vowels and consonants using your lips, tongue, jaw, and palate to form your speech sounds is crucial in getting your message across to your audience. Yeah, tama yun. Sabi na natin na okay na ang word choice and grammatical correctness ng speech mo. They are necessary, right? right? But then it is highly important for a speaker to know the correct way of saying a word, whether they are familiar or unfamiliar. Kasi minsan nagkakaproblema is, ang ganda ng mga ginamit mong salita nung nagsusunat ka, tama ang grammar, pero bu bu bumagsak bigla, nga nga bigla, nung nag-deliver mo na. Okay? They are, right. they, Siguro, sometimes they are mispronounced, mm -hmm. di ba? Kasi unfamiliar words needs to be researched as well, Sir Alvin, di ba? Especially, um, may mga words na iba yung pronunciation kapag adapted siya siguro from French uh, or may mga iba't ibang pronunciation, something like that. So they should do their research. So to ensure yeah. that your articulation is understood clearly by your audience, observe proper rate or the speed, proper pronunciation, and pauses. Yes. So, um, can I ask our student viewers, in terms of articulation, okay, in speaking, particularly because articulation is um, speaking, right? So, yeah, right. So, ano mga nagiging mis, ano, I mean, is mispronunciation problems, problems ah, nyo, okay. di ba? Mm -hmm. ah, sige nga, di ba? Iba, iba tayo ng provinces, di ba? May speech <laughs> defects, di ba? So, ano yung mga alam niya sa sarili niyo na may problema kayo in pronouncing certain words or um, or even vowels, Sir Alvin, di ba? Yeah, or, uh, I mean, consonants, siguro letter S. Yung iba sa letter F, yung parang pronunciation nila kasi uh, but it's just something that is natural, especially if you can't really uh, do that in a certain way. But we should also hear from our student viewers. Siguro may mga exciting sila na stories or mga exciting words that they could share through our comment section. What are those uh, na mga words na feel nila tama but then nagkakaroon sila ng problem in pronouncing it? Okay. Okay. I think Hannah so, Dan Daniel Sevilla says, often po. Uh, siguro okay. what she is saying is, uh, often nagkakaroon sila, nagkakaroon siya or she is experiencing that. 
may mga times na mali yung nagiging pronunciation ata or something like that. Yeah. Uh, okay, so tapos Sir Alvin, we also have here, ah, okay, siguro yung word na often yung nire-refer ni Han- Hannah. And yeah, the, the word to, itself. Mm-hmm. Actually, okay. um, ah, yeah, actually, dalawa, my dalawa students kasi, din. Yeah, pwede naman pareho, often mm-hmm. and often. Yeah, those are Yeah, because we have the English um, pronunciation and the British pronunciation. It could be often or often. And then we also yeah. have uh, Alan. Alan says chaos. All right. Okay. And also, uh, Mark Gabriel, uh, words yes, that... Man. No, wala. I, ito, some words yeah, with th. Like, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Naalala ko yan. Mm. Sa, <laughs> sa, mga, um, or, sa mga communication students ko, I'm always telling them, you have to pronounce th as it is. It's e- either soft or hard. Because sometimes, uh-huh. um, napupronounce na lang nila yun as t, t, t di ba? Yeah, like thank um, or, you, something like that. Yeah, thank you. Or but then why to pronounce Hot. hindi ng buhay, okay? Na th yan. Panindigan natin na th. <laughs> yeah, they are my Damn students. Mm-hmm. I also committed that, uh, especially yeah. kapag I, I can feel na parang na intimidate ako sa audience ko. Alam ko yung pronunciation pero hindi ko talaga siya ma ma perfect. Kasi parang uunahan ako ng kaba or something like that. I think yeah. it happens to us most of the time or siguro mm-hmm. uh, rare times or something. Pero um, at least we are aware what is the correct pronunciation. We can That's do that right. on the next delivery, perhaps. Yeah, we'll be talking about pronunciation more later, but then we will still be reading, okay, some of your um, problems in pronouncing words. So let's begin, um, okay, um, take note of this, the rate or speed first, okay? So the rate or speed of speech delivery may vary according to the speaker's mood or the thoughts the speaker is conveying. Right, Sir Alvin. So, for example, if a speaker speaks fast, di ba may mga times na kapag uh, pinapadeliver natin yung ibang students natin, Sir Alvin, especially nung face-to-face, kapag we require them to be in the center, somehow they speak too fast. Um, may- maybe because he-, he or she is very much excited or very nervous. On the other hand, a speaker may be slow because he or she is deeply serious about what he or she is saying. Yeah, that's right. Example, yeah, that's um, the rate or speed is also affected by your moods or the thoughts. It's like what you mentioned, when you're excited, your mo- your mood is excited, you tend to speak yeah, in the past. Fast. Example, mm-hmm. um, you're invited as a host of a, of an 18th birthday. Of course, you once you are introducing the, the what do we call it? the the debutant you're you're excited mm-hmm, mm-hmm. right so the, the tendency yeah. is Ooh. you're going to speak in the past so let us all welcome okay um uh, our debutant ma'am nova <laughs> wow <laughs> i feel 18. <laughs> well anyway yeah. sir alvin magkakilala din ako sir alvin kasi na um it's a natural thing for her to speak fast uh mm-hmm. it sounds like she is rapping uh, I have a friend. Uh, hi, hi to my mom, Christine. She's actually a teacher now, but then she speaks too fast. Um, minsan, minsan. <laughs> but mm-hmm. uh, there's a natural thing to her. Na medyo na para sa kanya is hindi siya fast. Pero kapag um, on my end na ako yung nag uh, naririnig or parang uh, ako yung kinakausap niya. Um, me listening to her, I can really feel or say that mm-hmm. uh, she is speaking way too fast for a normal rate or for a normal speed, something like that. Ayun. Yeah, so that's about rate or speed. Let's now have another um, um, element of articulation, and that is Turanova. Now, aside from rate or speed, rate or speed we have here proper pronunciation proper pronunciation also is an element of articulation that a speaker must consider yeah ito na yun. so pronunciation and articulation centers on observing intonation rhythm stress of each syllable and individual sound in delivering a speech Right, so the speaker then must make sure that he or she articulates the sounds and words properly for a clearer and more accurate delivery. Yeah, actually, um, it's as much as we would like to isa isa hinto mga to, but then tinitigan ko yung oras natin, but then, um, yeah, intonation, rhythm, individual sound, the stress of each syllable, okay, sa. Ah, yeah. So, speaking naman lahat ang mga yan. So, yeah, right, Ralvin. So, the last element of articulation is, okay, pauses. Okay? 
So having appropriate pauses is in the process of delivering a speech will give the listeners time to absorb important points of your speech. Now, in addition to that, Tutor Alvin, pauses help express the feelings that the speaker wants to project and is a way to build up a climactic order of your speech. So there are times now we wanted to highlight something. So in order to do that, we can actually um, employ pauses for uh, my highlight shot in uh, delivering that word or a sentence, perhaps. Yeah. If you want to, yeah, to highlight, to emphasize something, we are pausing, okay? Para ma-absorb, to give um, time for our audience to absorb yung na-mention. Because kapag tuloy-tuloy ka nagsasalita, baka hindi na ma-process sa utak ni audience ang mga pinagsasabi mo. Sayang lang. That's why... Diba? Right. Yeah. Parang, yeah. parang, parang, parang in a sense na, uh, please welcome Sir Alvin. Diba? Iba yeah, yung impact. Uh, hindi, hindi yung parang, please welcome Sir Alvin. Parang, oh, wow, ano yun? Parang, bilis na. Parang, <laughs> parang, yeah, yeah. Okay, parang wala siyang highlight or something. So, yeah. it's important to also employ pauses. Para din, uh, as ikaw, na gusto mong magkaroon talaga ng parang boom na effect, I should also try to breathe a little, pause a little, para my boom na energy talaga. To yeah, highlight remember, something. okay, our oral amazing students, proper breathing techniques together with the correct production of sounds that make up words contribute to an efficient articulation. Remember, articulation right. is about... Okay, pronouncing the words correctly. And dadadaan yan sa practice. At lahat naman ng mga magagaling na speakers, nagsimula yan talaga. Um, trial and error, nagsimula sa hindi alam, and then through constant practice, 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 natutunan. Like for example, ito nga, Tutor Nova, nung elementary ako, ta- ang basa ko dito, pause eh. Pakipose mo nga yung video, oh. di ba? Ngayon lang yung, ngayon lang na, ano na, pause. Wow, di ba? English, wow. English, pause, di ba? Right, Sir Alvin. And they should also remember that proper breathing hmm, is also a good way to claim and to calm and relax yourself when delivering a speech. So they should practice and know or research how to do proper breathing. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, Ma'am Nova, so when you pause, okay, when you pause, couple it with proper breathing, just like this. Okay, proper breathing. And another thing, um, Sanayin nyo na manood, makinig na mga, okay, mga speakers because through watching, you can imitate their styles, okay, the, the way they speak, okay, the way they articulate words. Um, it's uh, highly recommended yon If you want to be a better, um, a good or public speaker, you should listen, okay, to, to our best public speakers. Right. We should have a model. Now, again, the elements that contribute to a speaker's articulation are the rate or the speed of articulation, proper pronunciation, and pauses. Now, Sir Alvin, let's go to the verbal principle of effective speech delivery. The next verbal principle is modulation. Modulation. So, modulation is a verbal element of speech delivery that involves speaker's capability to adjust the pitch or highness okay or lowness of voice tone the volume or loudness and softness of the voice and the quality of the voice wow <laughs> now voice quality is the key when we speak of modulation there is a pleasant sounding voice which is soothing to the ears on the other hand there is a sounding voice that isn't pleasant to the ears yeah. So certainly, to the Nova, something that sounds monotone, okay, yeah, high pitch, right? Or <laughs> too loud is unpleasant to listen to. Right, Sir Alvin. So I agree so much. Now, if a speaker speaks with a tone that is either too high or uh, what we call high pitch and too low or low pitched, the emotional tone of the speech will be affected. Now, and so the perception of the listeners to your message, it will be affected as well. Yeah. But then, to our student viewers, do you agree? Meron bang mga, there are really people na pinanganak na na napakataas ng boses, yung napakatinis ang boses, di ba? Tatanong mo, ba't atas mo? Yung parang maliit, yun, pero matinis. Oo, oh, 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 matinis. At meron din naman <laughs> yung mga low pitch, di ba? Ang, ang bababa ng uh-huh. boses. Pero yun mm-hmm. na pala yung natawag nilang boses, di ba? Oh, yeah. I remember, Sir Alvin, since you've mentioned about mababa yung bo- boses, Sir Alvin, Alvin kasi uh, 
the first time I handled online classes here sa students ko right now, sa City of Bugos Science and Arts Academy, I encountered um, an interesting voice and pasok siya sa lowness ng voice niya. I'm not sure if he is here right now, but that uh, student is actually Josh Javis. Mm. I'm not sure. Can, could you tag him, our oral amazing students, on the comment section? Yeah, yeah I think uh, his voice is very low, so pasok na pasok siya sa lowness of voice. Actually, so I think it's very natural for him. Yung, yeah, yung low pitch na tone of voice, kasi na uh, natural na yung modulation, di ba? Um, no mm-hmm, need to right. sajain pa na mababa. Pero uh, not adjust ayun. too much. Mm-mm. So in that case, this person must really practice modulating his or her voice. Dalo na yung mga so natural na mataas ang voices. Um, mm-hmm. It's masakit yun sa tenga. Do you agree with us um, to our student viewers? Ayun, si uh, Josh Javis pahulayan pala. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, right. Uh, he caught my attention the, the first time I had my classes. Uh, so ayun, confirm at that lowness yung voice niya. Now, uh, Chitter Alvin, technically the volume of our voice reflects the energy we produce when we speak. So whenever we speak loudly, just like when we are too excited, it means we are more energetic compared to that speaking so softly. Yeah, so in and in the case of effective speech delivery, a speaker should not speak too loud or too soft for any of the two could okay. give a different perception to your audience. So ideally, one must speak with a well-modulated voice. Moreover, a well-modulated voice includes appropriate emotional tone depending on what message you want to convey to your audience. Yeah, parang ganun. The way uh, Sir yeah. Alvin delivered it, that's the perfect modulation. Yeah. Now also, Sir Alvin, the speaker must ensure that his voice can be heard by the last person in the room. Sometimes a microphone is also provided during a large speaking engagement. In the event where a speaker or a microphone is provided, further modulation is required because the bass sometimes there are amplifiers that will further resonate the speaker's voice. Yeah, so of course, we don't want our audiences' eardrums to be bombarded. Therefore, adjustment is the key. Remember, adjustment is the key. If the speaker speaks in a well-modulated voice, the audience will pay attention to every detail he or she will say. Yeah, also Sir Alvin, as the one who is speaking, we should also be a good listener as well. Yes. Kasi, uh, diba, kapag nervous ka minsan, hindi mo naririnig yung sarili mo. So the tendency is that you speak too high at nagiging high-pitched yung tone mo. So I think what our student viewers should also try to practice and research more is that uh, they could also try na mag-deliver in front of, uh, maybe in front of their friends first, para trial and error method. And they could also try to find out if while they are delivering something, can they hear themselves? Diba? Yeah, Parang, sabi nga natin, like, adjustment, napakahalaga ng mag-adjust mm-hmm. tayo depending sa situation, sa audience natin, yeah, or the context. Like for example, in modulation, yeah, you have your norm- normal voice. Example, ito, gamit ko ngayon, is my normal voice because mm, right. uh, parang napaka-ano naman, weird kung nagmo-modulate pa ako, nagtuturo na. Okay, <laughs> yeah, so, right. uh, hello to our e students <laughs> <laughs> like that. Parang nasa, ano, <laughs> right, Sir Alvin. I think a modulation, uh, medyo... Nagiging ano siya, um, we, we tend to use it uh, for voiceovers, diba? We tend yeah. to modulate a lot if we do voiceovers. But if we do something like this that is very natural, uh, natural we can modulate yeah. but natural. not too often because uh, it's a natural speaking voice and we are natural speaking engagement and something. So Yeah, I so we should not overuse modulating our voices because sabi nga ni Tudor Nova, depending um sa context okay case to case basis yan kailan tayo magmo-modulate yeah. ng voice yeah nakikipag-usap ka sa friends mo sir Alvin tapos para okay, ka nang voice over <laughs> oh hi hi sir Alvin how are you doing yeah. <laughs> di ba something like that parang nagiging AI Nova? voice how are you I'm okay <laughs> <laughs> Well, now, uh, always remember our oral amazing students, speaking in front of public requires modulation depending on the context and the situation that the speaker is in. Yeah, so All again, right, the so... verbal principles of effective speech delivery are articulation and modulation. In articulation, remember, the speaker must know how to pronounce the words clearly and the other elements of utterance paying attention to critical sound. Again, tandaan, no? articulation, we are referring to the gaano kalinaw, the clarity, and the correct pronunciation of words. 
All right, Sir Alvin. So while modulation involves the speaker's capability to adjust his or her voice quality and must know how to control the flow and rhythm of his or her speech. Well, just in time, Sir Alvin, because time on the clock, it's 439. That means to say we're about to say goodbye to our oral amazing students. Uh, should we have the, uh, do we still have the time to play? Okay, I think not enough time to play this video. Yeah. But for the next week, Sir Alvin, for week number seven, I think uh, we can have our um, activity first uh, so that we could try to have this video for our yeah. oral amazing students to watch. Yeah, actually, we, we we prepared activity to test, okay, your learning about mm -hmm. the difference of articulation and modulation. But definitely, it will they, they will be flashed or presented next, okay, next session, next week, okay, for our week before we begin our week seven lesson. Mm -hmm. So re always remember the difference between articulation and modulation. Articulation, again, the pronunciation, the correct pronunciation, the clarity. And the modulation right. is the quality of your the voice. voice quality the voice your adjustments quality. as well mm -hmm. yeah. right so i think it's time for us to do our closing skills now sir alvin but of course we would like to say thank you to our oral amazing students who joined us today and um, the different schools who are always present in our oral communication itali live session every tuesday yeah, okay. Hello to our student viewers. Nag-enjoy ba sa ating unang session for 2022? <laughs> 2022. All right. Nag-enjoy naman ata, Sir Alvin. We have been receiving a lot of comments or a lot of interactions through our comment section. So thank you so much for being oral amazing students as always. Sanay pagpatuloy natin until 2022 for the whole school year. Ayun. <laughs> well, yeah. anyway, Sir Alvin, uh, do you still want to say something before we end this Itulay live session today? Okay, palang wala na. So thank you for your participation, <laughs> or welcome, amazing students. This has been Tutor Alvin. And I am Tutor Nova. See you next Tuesday for more thrilling adventure. Always remember to be the best in oral communication in context. Only here on Eat Life. See you next time, or welcome, amazing students. Goodbye. Bye bye. <laughs>